Welcome to British Fossil Gun Modeling. This is part 9 of Trumpeter's DRB Class 52 locomotive. Scale is 135. In this part, I'll be um, placing more one or two little bit of pieces on the main train, but then turning my attention to the actual roll and stop part of the build. So let's jump into this and see how I get on. Picking up directly where I left off in part 8, I'm just uh, fitting this uh, pipe in. I was actually meant to show it in part um, 8, but um, I forgot to include it. So I, I'll just uh, place it in here at the start of part 9. There's um, one or two little pieces to be added uh, to the underside of the frame of uh, the walkway. Uh, one of them is this uh, canister here. As you can see, it has two pipes uh, coming out of it. Those get connected on to uh, some of the pipework that's already in place. And all these little parts just get placed on, on the underside um, of the uh, walkway. It's the wrong angle for my camera to uh, show you them um, in any detail. But you can see the location points on the um, walkway that is visible. Um, and they just get uh, placed there. Working on components for the front of the train here, right at the front. These are, um, there's a little uh, coupler thing that hangs down. There's very small components here. Again, the camera doesn't really pick them up too well, unfortunately. But there's a series of hoops and bars that go together to form this coupler. There's also a, a couple of um, lantern lights um, to be made up. And it's just the main unit onto a backing plate. And these are all painted in Mr. Hobby H18 steel metallic. I'm also using 05 white by Revo Aquacqua, and that's just for the inside of the lantern. The holding bracket is painted in Humbro 60 Scarlet, so that's uh, the same colour as the main frame. Now it's time to place these on. Uh, as you can see, um, the, the camera angle is not fantastic for these. Um, to show you going on, but um, each one does have its like, a little location point. Some of them are a little bit tricky to go on just because uh, the surf surface is at an angle uh, on some of them. So um, I, you have to put it on such a way that you can hold it for a few seconds to bond. So the coupler is going on and that goes right in the centre part of uh, the framework. Then one of the lanterns goes right onto the boiler door. Um, I'll just whip this around here so you can see it. So you can see all the little parts on there and the lantern. There's actually two support braces going up from the framework onto the boiler, then a platform uh, going on top of these. Now this, this was very difficult uh, to uh, install. Did try to get them on camera but the angle it just wasn't possible. I, I needed the the model actually right in front of me to um, install them so uh, I really got I can't show you because the the angle isn't there but um, it goes from the main framework up to the boiler at an angle and once they're dry the um, little plate goes on it was a very difficult difficult installation to to do also in this part I'm fitting in the uh, support struts for the side armor now once I have these in position, I'll be leaving this uh, overnight so I know they're completely solid before I place them on. So in the end, I managed to get a better camera angle so you can see the support struts leading to the framework to the boiler and the platform. Those are the uh, two little brackets that I was trying to explain that I had great difficulty with. So now I'm putting on the um, armour here. Um, that there's no actual location points for this, so I had to do a lot of desk work, a guess work. So there was um, a bit of trial and error. In fact, what I'm doing here is I'm putting it in the, the wrong position. I'm putting one of the struts actually on the door. I didn't realise that at the time, um, but I caught it in the end. I moved it slightly over onto the boiler. So the overhead shot shows you the two of them there. Uh, it's not to put on the chimney cap, so I'm just placing it this uh, cap on and um, leaving it open so I'm just supporting it at the moment with a little bit of plasticine so uh, it stays in position while, while I'm placing it on. But as you can see uh, with the uh, the two exit armour pieces I've moved the bracket so it is actually now on the boiler 
and not on the actual door where I initially had it. So I'm now moving on to the second section of the train, the, the rolling stock, the uh, coal bunker part of the uh, locomotive. So it's um, pretty much similar to um, how I, I started the build. Um, first of all, I'm making up the brakes uh, for all the wheels. And these are just two pieces um, placed together initially. Then there's a, a little bar that goes in between the two piece, uh, pl pieces that are placed together. So there's a little gap, there. then a bar I will run inside it to connect to the mainframe. Once that's done, I can connect the wheels to the axles. And as you can see, because it's rolling stock, there's no pistons or anything being attached to these. These are just uh, base set wheels. A slight uh, variation in construction with the frame. Uh, the instructions say put on the brakes first, so that's what I did. However, I'm just using th the wheel as a guide to get the brakes in position. So th this wheel is just acting as a guide. It's not cemented in or nothing. I'm just putting it into e each location point, then putting the, the brake pad on and then um, marrying it up to the wheel. So now I'm uh, to the painting stage of the wheels and I'm using Umbro 60 Scarlet once more and uh, that, that again will be the main colour for the entire frame so as you can see the main frame is painted in the same colour I'm also painting in the uh, support brackets uh, for the frame as well and now I can paint the wheel rim and that's Revo Aqua Colour 91 Steel and once it's all dry I can now uh, place in the axles so I'm just going to do one side uh, first of all each um, axle uh, has its location point but there's a little guide for you uh, for it to go and there's a little nick in the plastic that you line up so you know you get in the proper position but it doesn't really matter uh, with these wheels um, because again they're only base wheels so it doesn't matter if uh, if it's not the right way up because there is it's a circular thing uh, there's only one way really so once uh, all the wheels are in, I'm just lining up the second part of the framework. A little bit tricky, but just because um, there's uh, four wheels and I have to line them all up almost um, at the same time. Next, I can put in the, the support beams or brackets. Um, as you can see there, um, I, all the are in, they're all bent in the same way. Apart from the end one, the end one goes from the opposite side. So that gets pushed from underneath. Each one does have a lot of location slot, uh, just where I'm putting the cement. There's a little box that gets made up that goes um, at the um, end of the uh, main frame. So it's just a a simple uh, bro uh, box with um, the there's there's no actual end size to it. It's just so it's just a bottom and a top with the the brackets separating in between making sure that I'm painting the inside of, of the uh, box itself with the, the main colour. Um, there's been many times when I've, I've done something like this and forgotten to paint the inside which can be very frustrating. And then that box just sits onto the frame like so. I'm using Mr. Hobby 18 steel metallic here and this is for the side walls of the main um, coal bunker. For the underside of the car, the part that you really don't see, I'm using Revo Aquacolor Horsex Tar Black, as well as the connecting ring that uh, is getting painted in the same colour. So I'm, I'm starting with the connecting ring first, but the, the big piece where my hand is just crossing over, that's uh, the other part that will be painted in this colour. So as you can see, the, this is more of a flatter black than the metallic black. So it's a, it's a good colour to represent a dusted area that's getting hard used and you don't really see it anyway as such. And lastly, I'm using Humbro 85 Coal Black to paint the coals on this part. And this is where I'll end part 9. Um, I'm going to have to wait quite a while for this uh, paint to dry, so this is a good place to leave it. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other videos. If you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and you'll be updated with all my videos. Hit that like button and leave a comment if you can. And also, um, it'll be helpful if you can share the video. 
But for now, thank you all very much, much for watching. Bye bye.